Well, if it's any help, I'm about ready to move on. What? Uh, 48 going on 59. You've got two ulcers working on my third. Three ex-wives working on my fourth. Dave, we didn't expect you to... Hey, 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 I'm not being a martyr here. It's just time for a change. So, uh, who do we replace you with? Prousey. Sunday Forum. What's he like? <laughs> Me? Hello, I'm Mike Moore. Welcome to Frontline. I don't know, Krause. Mate, you nailed that. Yeah, I thought she got me on that welfare on the basis of needs concept. Didn't have my green hat on. Oh, we'll let it out. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. I mean, I wouldn't want it to appear like the chief. Uh, it's running 20 minutes too long. Oh, sure. Well, you need to edit that, yeah. You xenophobic bitch! Krause, <laughs> Krause! <laughs> What's she on about? I mean, some of my best friends are at Bridge. Well, you're at the council. Yeah, for reconciliation. Mind you, I haven't been to many meetings lately. Yeah, well, you needed to be here hosing down the situation. Oh, that's why I haven't been keeping up with my Asian friends. You know how I was saying yesterday, the chances of getting Mel Gibson were, what, what did I say? 50-50. 90-10. Wow. Susie just rang, right? He's been wavering. Rang. He doesn't want to do any oh, interviews, yeah, right? Yeah. Who's he bump into? Oh, Bruce yeah. Lee. They get talking. And Bruce says, you got to do Mike Moore. He's great. Bruce Lee's dead. Bruce Willis. Oh, oh, great. Oh, I interviewed him when he came out for... Uh, yeah, Planet Hollywood. Planet. But there's something else. So yeah, uh, yeah, it's what, up to what? you. No, no, no. What, what, Mel really wants to talk about the new movie, right? Oh, he does want to go oh, back oh. over that lethal weapon madness. Oh, what a history oh, lesson. Oh, you went know. to NIDA with yeah, Judy Davis. Yeah, Steve oh, Busy. I mean, what are they doing now? Yeah, right. uh, I want to talk about his new movie. R right, well, I reckon they'll say yes. Besides, I've done all the research, sir. I've done it all. You can ask me any question about Mel Gibson. Go on. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Just okay. ask him a question. Mate. What was his first film? Alvin Purple. No, it's Mad Max. Alvin Purple. You want to know his second? Storm Boy. He wasn't in Storm Boy. Ah, gotcha. Good trivia question. You know when the Pelican spoke? Mel Gibson's voice. Could I have a look at the research? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You go right ahead. Yeah. I've memorised it. Yeah, the Pelican's voice, eh? Marty. I have a word. Just remember your golden rules. Make your interviews entertaining. Make sure your host is a ruthless head kicker. Hey, and remember that scoreboard. It's got to be a great fight. Thanks, hey, mate. <laughs> hey, Steve, heard the news. Congratulations. Great. Cheers. Yeah, the big step up to current affairs. Yeah, guess it is. Guess it is. Different world. Yeah. No more of that uh, lightweight bullshit. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. no. Uh, so I just come up to get a few tips, you know. Oh, happy to help. Don't call me the velvet hammer for nothing. So where do we start? Um, we... Uh, oh, look, uh, sorry, mate, I've got to Oh, go. sure, you be I've got to Busy go. as a bumblebee. Yeah. No worries. Listen, but I want to get your input yep. for Rick, you know, for the whole uh, interviewing thing. Oh, sure, well, I guess I've got a few flying hours up now. Yeah. But just tell Rick it's pretty simple at the end of the day. Right. Keep your viewers informed, stay an independent arbiter, and never let an interview degenerate into a fight. Well, that's pretty much what Prousey said. Oh, I think this bloke's going to go far. I bet he is. See Congratulations, ya. Steve. Cheers, see ya. Okay. See ya, bro. <laughs> What do I come up here for? What are these? Um, Let me retrace my steps. I was down at the canteen. Stay there. Because I walk back in. Oh, yeah, these are for you. Thanks. Soft gone. You show positive images and your viewers go with you. They tune in in droves. Great, let's go home then. Hey, we've only just begun. There's a lot more to achieve, I'm telling you. I feel on fire. This is the beginning. This, this... Hey guys, what's up? Andrew just spoke to a friend of his in Brisbane. Oh yeah? I saw the show last night. Oh great, yeah? He said it was offensive, negative, more of the same stereotypes. It can't have been. I don't know what your friend was watching. Mate, I thought we had an agreement. All you do is just show the same negative stereotyping bullshit. We did. We couldn't. We didn't. What? Look, whoa, stop. I'll ring my executive producer. His friend saw it. Oh, relax. Did you see the ratings I sent? Forget the ratings, Prousey. I made a commitment to these people. I want to guarantee this won't happen again. All right, guarantee it. I'm serious, Prousey. Now, there's a couple other points I want to make. I reckon the story should be running longer. It was four minutes. Yeah, well, I'm thinking 15, maybe 20. Now, Mike... No time to argue, Prousey. I'm running out of coins. Coins? What, aren't you on the mobile? No, we're out of mobile range. I just think the stories... I mean, if we're really going to address the issues... Gee, those phones, they just... Come.